Hi, boys and girls. This is Mrs. Milligan. I found a graphic that you might find helpful when you are completing this assignment. The first one um, just shows there's actual um, pictures that might give you clues. So convection, you can see the red and the blue um, motion with the arrows. So it's hot and cold and it's movement. Then um, you see that there's a definition. The heat is circulated through fluids like air. So remember that it could be a gas or water. An example could be soup heating in a pot because the hot soup rises and the cool soup sinks. And then another um, example in a picture is the hot air balloon because it's a circuit and it's circulating. Um, so that's convection. Conduction. There is a picture of a lot of heat going and then the particles are moving and something is touching something else. So the definition is that heat is moving through touching an object. So think about like a conductor who's, um, you know, actually moving on a train where those wheels are scraping against a track. And is it another example, a spoon in hot chocolate is two materials touching um, metal on maybe a liquid and then a frying pan on a burner. So that those are two other, um, examples. And then conduction is where they touch. So it happens where they touch, not if something radiates from the bottom or some convection air happens at the top, that conduction are those two pieces matching. And looking at radiation, you can see that there's always like a center point and then a um, expression of uh, something moving out from an object. So I think of the sun and I think of yellow, and I think of the sun's rays for radiation. So example um, is a hand near a hot iron just to see if it's hot. So you feel like something radiating, even though you know you're not touching it, um, you feel that radiation. So there is an effect. So the transfer of heat between two objects that are not touching. And I want to put that fire is also um, here, not on this page exactly, but it is within the idea of radiation. So I hope this helps with your definitions and your identification assignment today. Um, I hope you do great, and we'll talk to you soon. Goodbye.